Hello ladies and gentlemen, Greg Lawson here. Today I am going to answer the age old question. Exactly how tall is Brittany Griner? <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. The question is, do I really need a realtor to sell my house? What if I'm buying a house? Do I really need a realtor? Can I just walk into a model home and buy a new home from the representative there? Why do I need a realtor? We're gonna get into that and much more right now. So, all right, if this is your first time to my channel, please subscribe, hit that bell, and you won't miss out next time I post a fantastic, informative, sometimes entertaining video. Yeah, it, it means a lot to my channel. Subscribers are everything. I honestly, I like to say, this is your channel, I just work here. So, with that being said, let's get into this question. Realtors are the absolute most misunderstood profession on the face of the planet. I have no doubt. People just don't know what a realtor actually does. I've said it before, I had a guy say, 3% is a lot of money just for unlocking doors. That tells me that people just don't know what it is that we do. Do you need a realtor to sell your house? What does a realtor do? As a realtor, we take a lot of classes. We have to, there's so much that we have to stay on top of. There's state laws, there's federal laws. And if you're not familiar with those laws, you're gonna get yourself in trouble. I mean, discrimination laws. Do you know what all the protected classes of people are? If you don't, then how do you know you're not discriminating against someone? Sometimes just asking what you think is an innocent question, you can cross the line. So yeah, you need a professional, not to mention the fact that your home is your biggest asset. You don't wanna screw that up. Homes being sold by realtors typically sell for about 15% more than a home that's being sold by the owner. People who shop for sell by owner homes are looking for a bargain. And so they're lowballing you and you just won't be able to sell your home for the same price that a realtor will be able to sell your home for. A realtor is a marketer. When it comes to selling a home, it's all about the marketing. It's all about how that description is written out. That's called ad copy and it's an art form. You know, you don't just throw some words down there and describe it. You want to describe it in a way that's gonna be enticing, in a way that's gonna get people to wanna come and see your house. Pictures, you want professional pictures, you want video. I love aerial video also, and people seem to really respond well to that. I do things like put captions on my videos. I put music on my videos. I go out of my way to make sure your home is gonna be shown in the best light and I mean that physically and also metaphorically. It's important, it's super important. Now, if you're buying a home, it doesn't make sense that you would not use a realtor because the realtor is free. free. You don't pay the realtor, so it's free to you as a buyer. The seller is gonna pay the realtor. A seller will have a realtor that's representing him, known as a listing agent, but that guy is not gonna be the person to bring that seller a buyer for the most part. There's gonna be a second realtor involved that will bring a buyer. The listing agent's job, again, getting back to that, is to market that home the absolute best you can. Give it the most exposure he possibly can, but the seller is not just gonna pay him, the seller is also gonna pay the buyer's agent as well. It's already in the contract. So when the listing agent signs a contract to list the house, he's going to say, typically, it's gonna cost you 6%. And so the agreement is already in place with that listing agent that when that house is sold, that seller is gonna pay 6% to that listing agent. Now it's up to the listing agent to pay the buyer's agent out of that commission. So even if you go 
without a buyer's agent, that seller is already contracted to pay that 6% to his listing agent. That just means the listing agent gets to keep a larger commission. So it doesn't mean that it's gonna save you any money because you don't have a realtor. That's not how it works. A lot of people think it does, but it doesn't. And there are so many things that have to be considered when you're buying a home. Again, it's your biggest investment. You wanna get it right. Do you know what an encroachment is? Do you know what an encumbrance is? Do you know what inclusions are? There's a lot of terminology that we have to know and be familiar with. And if you don't know about these things, then you don't know to ask about them. And they can be very important. They can come back to bite you in the butt, big time, okay? So these are the types of things that you will want a professional representative to protect you from. You don't wanna go down that road where you're trying to figure it out as you go. Yes, you need a realtor, absolutely. Even if you're buying a brand new house, do you know that brand new houses have problems? Again, if you're buying a brand new house from a builder and you walk into the model home and you're dealing with the representative in that model home, that guy's not there to represent you. Or that woman, she's not there to represent you. She represents the builder. And people have problems with new homes all the time. Again, those new homes are built by contract labor. That builder has to hire out the labor. There's usually not even employees of the builder. They have to contract those laborers to come in and do that work. Do those laborers always do everything right? No, unfortunately they don't. So you need to get an inspection. I mean, a, a realtor is gonna know that. You may not know that, but you're gonna need to get an inspection. Inspectors find just as much wrong with new homes sometimes as they do with uh, pre-owned homes. So it's, it's very important that you get the inspector and you make them fix whatever he finds. A new home should be essentially perfect. It's a brand new home, right? Now, if you're, if you're getting a pre-owned home, the idea isn't necessarily that you're gonna force the owner to make that into a perfect home. It's a pre-owned home. It's gonna have some wear and tear and this and that, but there are some important things that you want to make sure that owner will make right. If the realtor finds there are code violations if the realtor finds there's a leaky roof, uh, structurally something is not sound, if there's issues with foundation, any, you know, there's serious things that you're gonna definitely want that owner to take care of before you buy that house. It's my job to protect my buyer. So yes, you need a realtor. That's the answer. Yes, absolutely. Whether you're buying, whether you're selling, whether you're buying a new home, whether you're buying a pre-owned home, you need a realtor. We do a lot. We really do. That's really my video for today. Guys, like I said, please subscribe, hit that bell, and you'll be notified when I post another video. Also, all of my contact information is in the comments section below this video. So you can call me, you can text me, you can even schedule a Zoom meeting with me and we can talk face to face and figure out what it is I can do to help you. So that's it for today. Take care. See you next time.